So who's my timekeeper here? You, of course, thanks, thanks a lot. Um, I'm so excited because, uh, I said it two times, we are online. We, I broadcast without any permission <laughs> to this, <laughs> this session via Periscope to the world. Um, I mentioned today uh, John Letcher several times uh, in my tweets and on Instagram and on Twitter, of course, and maybe he will uh, <laughs> have a look into this small event here. So, yeah. You will get these files, these slides uh, on the young. Since uh, in the morning I put them on the young, we might have more than 600 uh, views on it, five likes and uh, <laughs> no comment until now. And uh, if you download the file, um, you will see, it's a PDF, but you also can have the, the PowerPoint for me, you'll see in this uh, hyperlink fingers, and then there's a yum symbol, and that means there's an article linked um, to the topic of the slide, and uh, yeah. I'm very seldom forced to speak English during my normal working life. Uh, so maybe I need your help <laughs> whenever I need a special word. Um, but I really like uh, this challenge because, uh, yeah, it makes uh, never a view over the uh, tellerrand, over the edge of the plate. It's, uh, maybe it's a common uh, German saying. So, 93 slides and some interactions. I know, sounds crazy. Maybe, of course, I'm crazy, but I'm not stupid. That's the point. Same to John Lesher. And uh, Antonio, where are you? I met Antonio in the elevator, and he looks familiar to me, and he said, ah, are you the German Lesher guy? <laughs> I say yes, <laughs> a kind of. Uh, so the question is, what can we learn from John Ledger? And uh, of course, we can learn a lot. And uh, we are still learning. It's so interesting to follow him on Twitter or Instagram to see what's going on in the States, what he's doing on Facebook with this uh, slow cooking, cooker, slow cooking uh, Sunday, for example. So uh, it's always good. It's always a good chance to um, get an impression and impulse. And uh, a lot of magenta fireworks, of course. And I love magenta fireworks. Um, yes, indeed. And I need your input. Some of you, the most of you, get an inofficial autograph card of me with a signature. It's illegal, also, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> and you also get a sticker, sticker like this here. And uh, you can um, write. A hashtag or a word or a sentence on it during the session or later. I'm sure we'll uh, meet in the evening and you can give it to me. No name is needed to, uh, to put on the sticker. What I want is uh, a small answer or a hashtag to the question How did John Ledger inspire you? You personal. Maybe you wear magenta colored underwear. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, for example, I wrote them uh, wrote down. Uh, I, I show my Werkstolz. The Werkstolz is a German uh, word. Um, Proud of the is maybe the English one. Werkstolz, Proud of the And uh, so the question is how did John Ledger inspire you? I have th only three uh, pencils. So I can give it to you if you like. It would be great to get some stickers back later. So I have 12 topics, but none of them is uh, a huge one. Um, I uh, create these uh, slides um, also with the um, idea that you look on it later and uh, go deeper in some topics. So, first of all, who I am? I'm always asked, who are you? You'll find me on the uh, people at Telecom, of course, and I'm uh, working for nearly 20 years for Deutsche Telekom. So I'm a kind of dinosaur, maybe. 
I'm 45, uh, on, I work for T-Mobile in, in Germany, I work for T-Systems in Germany, for T-Service or technical services, and now, since a year and some months, I work for social media business. So I belong to the cool guy, guys from Telekom Deutschland who um, use this uh, social media surrounding to, to push uh, impulse into the company. And of course, I'm very social, social life, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, YouTube. Um, you will find me on the YAM, of course. And uh, yeah, later on you can go, if you download this file, you can show, uh, you can get in contact with me. I really like to get impulses from all over the world. An hour ago, uh, I met a, people, a colleague from South Africa. It's so cool because they do Magenta Monday activities on the Twitter, and we also do such things in, in, in Germany, so we can get, uh, we can change our experiences. <coughs> Here are my expectations. I'm not a number crunching guy, so I'm more a magenta uh, minded person. I'd like to get some vibrations, not a technical input or something like that, no figures about Mobile US. So yeah, that's what I have to say. And uh, yeah, first of all, <coughs> love magenta. So something to magenta. This I don't know what what kind of. Um, I can that one. Yeah, cards lock. Cards lock. Yeah, you're right. Mm. Now what else? So this slide is not pink. <laughs> yeah, this it's uh, slide is magenta. And maybe you ask yourself, huh? Do you know where the name uh, uh, of this color, of our brand color, is uh, related to, or where the original? Well, you say it's a town. <laughs> right. <laughs> so you'll find uh, a small town very close to Milan. It's called Magenta. There's a interesting his a story about this. You can find it on on Yam. I posted it years ago. And um, also on uh, Wikipedia, there was a battle of magenta and blah, 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 a lot of interesting things. And uh, of course, I am a citizen of honor. I don't know, but I'm a citizen of honor. I can oh, put this one. Ah, well, thank you. Thank you, Thanks a lot. This is uh, Alex Luton, the father of the telecom wars. Yeah, have a look. <laughs> um, so, magenta. If you have time with Magenta, you can read something about Magenta and also some stuff I did there. And uh, now something about John Ledger. He is really an interesting and crazy and inspirational guy. And uh, yeah, we should hear something of him. The key segments for us, government, enterprise customers, research and education, wireless carriers, we're growing far greater than the market. What a difference more than a decade makes. We are going to fix a stupid, broken, arrogant industry. Horizon's about to take over as dumber. I believe they will fail miserably. Bring it on. I, I hope they all try it. Take your best shot. People took notice. We had fun. We ended up at the Thanksgiving table. I throw potatoes in his face. When I was younger, I wanted to be a, a foot doctor. I have no idea why. Just copy and paste everything I do and you'll be fine. I'm a walking billboard. Snoop Dogg and Martin Stewart. Dora. We're listening to our employees and listening to our customers and shutting up and doing what they tell us. John Ledger, what a story. What a guy! Really, what a guy. And what a change in his, uh, this hat in his uh, house here. And, uh, Last year, nee, last 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 week, I think. Um, yeah, maybe you also saw or read something about the. Um, uh, what's the word in English for this? I think it's the results of the first quarter. And uh, the Rwanda's uh, U.S. operations pay off of Deutsche Telekom. And I post this picture there, and uh, also John Ledger liked it, or some somebody of his team, and it's it's amazing. What he did there. Of course, you have to know that Deutsche Telekom invests a lot of billions in the markets. It's important, no? but the, the creative power 
of his team of John Ledger's person uh, brings the whole <coughs> concept to to a higher level. And uh, of course, uh, if you look to the um, results, uh, the stock market uh, value is enormous. So you, you'll find the article on the UND. And uh, this uh, quote is after Glades across the Atlantic Ocean. I can only say that our investments in the United States have paid off. Sounds a little bit okay, no, no emotion, but uh, it's business, of course. And uh, this is an article from uh, Manager Magazine. And uh, you can see how the developed, uh, how the company of T Mobile developed in the last years. And uh, it changed from a child with a lot of uh, long sorrows into a company with a lot of. Why do they, why do they use a picture of Tim in, in 10 years <laughs> or 20? You think, you think so? Sometimes he looks uh, this way. <laughs> Maybe it's a, a little more contrast in it. Of course. Yeah, it sound, because the topic of the of this article is um, what we'll do in the future with T-Mobile USA, and maybe you should, uh, uh. and uh, yeah. The most important thing is that John Ledger pushed this into his company and to the market, and uh, maybe you saw some of his um, uh, town hall meetings or interaction with customers or with with employees. And um, he's brilliant in, in doing all this. And how he's doing? He's like a gorilla. Yeah? He's, uh, um, what's his problem? Who's, who's my, what is wrong? He's trembling on his chest. Oh, I'm the tea man, huh? of course. And uh, sits in front of tea. And he is using, I mentioned it, Twitter and Instagram. You should have a look to these accounts. And it's, it's, it's amazing, more than 4 million followers on Twitter um, and also a lot of docu personal documentation on, on, on uh, Instagram. And it's, it's so easy, not so easy, it's easy to get in, in contact with him by sending um, yeah, a post, for example. I'm curious about uh, some responses in the next few uh, days to my uh, tweets because uh, I, I tickled him a little bit. And uh, this is an also interesting uh, video clip about the success. The reason I know they're not going to be able to take advantage of what I do, there's no fucking way anybody's going to spend their day doing what I do. I wake up in bed and I do Twitter for an hour and a half just to catch up, right? But what's in there outside is a joke. Did anybody read my National Poetry Day tweet today? Is that great? Today's National Poetry Day, right? So my tweet was, AT&T is blue and full of poo. T-Mobile is magenta and will help you save money to pay the rent. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what's the saddest part? Is I sat there and typed that. Right during Walt Ross for, you know, his presentation. Um, but here's the, so that's the kidding side. The, the, the truth is, I learned almost everything I need to know to run T-Mobile in there, on the email from individual customers or on Twitter. I take every tweet that comes in and I read it, I forward it to people, my executive team gets them, we reply, and my staff meeting every Tuesday, we track social media impressions, what they are and how we responded to them. So uh, it takes a ton of time, it's a lot of fun, and it's, you know, you gotta be, you gotta be real and you gotta be out there, but I'm having a ball with it. But it's full time dude. You also listen to customer support calls that come in as well. So what are you listening for specifically there and what do you learn? Okay, that's, uh, that's enough. What does he learn? Huh? What does he learn? <laughs> <laughs> what does he learn? <laughs> what does he learn? <laughs> what does he learn? <laughs> you know, all of everything you need. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's interesting that he, he that's, Twitter and Instagram for to be well informed about the customer's need and um, that's just one of his, his, his secret. I think there's because a lot of... Because I think I can answer this question very briefly. Everything that he did in the last, uh, the moves, uh, how does he call them? Hmm? The moves, uh, the <coughs> uncaring yeah, right. moves. Yeah? Uh, all of them were inspired by uh, what he heard on the calls or on the email or on Twitter. Mm -hmm. So not everything is coming from there. 
So, and how it works, how it works. Um, now, story about the baby elephant and uh, the adult elephant. And this is a, a metaphor or parable. Von Ledger mentioned during his town hall, or oh, on the stage uh, during his town hall meeting in uh, January this year. And the point is maybe you know this uh, parable, or a metaphor, it means the same. Uh, you'll find it on the net, of course. Um, if you mentioned, uh, the, you mentioned this little baby elephant really has a problem to get rid of this stick. He tries this one, two, three, four times, and then, okay, I have no chance. <coughs> Um, and this is my area. And he even, when he grew up, grew up, he never used it uh, again. He never tried again to escape. And that's the same behavior of, of, of a few, of a lot of people in our in several companies. If they don't uh, start to, to move, um, could be a, a big elephant. The um, quote is: "Nothing gonna change till you break these change." And he did a lot of things like that, career uh, things. Um, he broke up with traditional thinkings and thoughts and uh, marketing campaigns. And yeah, that's kind of his uh, success story. And uh, we should, uh, we, we can learn from this uh, quote uh, a lot. Yeah, go um, new ways uh, in Polish I don't know. Question. Don't question about this. Okay, you got it? You know what I mean? <laughs> Perfect. Okay. Sorry! <laughs> um, and the John Ledger son, maybe you know uh, this um, uh, management uh, motivation story, fish. Uh, it's about a fish market in Seattle. You'll get a link to, to the internet uh, clip, or YouTube, YouTube clip, and uh, there are four main points. Be there, play, make their day, choose your attitude. And uh, yeah, if you scan John Ledger's uh, <laughs> work and the behavior, um, you can see a lot of things which fits to this uh, to different points. So it seems to be very easy, um, but um, yeah, he, he, he changed the world in America. In America. Yes. And of course, in this way, uh, the company grows and grows and grows, and uh, that's really exciting because some years ago we thought about what, what will we do with uh, T-Mobile US, and uh, get something about the influence. Of course, he influenced also Germany, and I have some interesting examples. Maybe you saw last week, two weeks ago, the first digital town hall meeting, and I loved one uh, section of this uh, uh, meeting, and I <laughs> recorded it with my mobile phone um, in front of the uh, laptop, so the quality is not good, but the sound is uh, important, but if the original, you can call it the young, but in this case, it makes sense to see only Spain or from uh, Croatia, 
what your translation is to the actual, I don't know, I have to, maybe you can write down um, so we can have, have a map uh, for these uh, uh, hashtags. And if you Google the actual, for example, um, you'll find a lot of interesting posts, pictures, a lot of me, of course, okay, well, I always use the hashtag Vakut whenever I post something, um, but it is a, it's an interesting um, method to spread out the world. BT is a cool company. Also the Silicon Wall, for example. Ew. Very interesting. And you also know uh, for sure, that's why the T is the goal, that the brand is the most uh, valuable brand in, in Europe for the tech industry. And it's it's uh, also great. Huh? And uh, this is last, last, uh, last week. Um, what the, yeah, this uh, uh, Admiral, I guess, the Quartal Quartal Hall. Earnings Hall. Uh, earnings Hall. Earning, you know, the Earnings Hall. And you see here this picture. He recorded um, a small movie. And our corporate account of Instagram and also Twitter uh, published it. It's also very, as it's, don't let your little always. You can find a lot of. Uh, interesting or also boring clips on, 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 uh, on Instagram and Twitter and this is the first time that Tim Höttke is there, town, uh, there to do this. It's, you always think, oh, it could be what will the, what will the, uh, the stock, stock owners will think about this. It's not so easy, but he did it and uh, great success. And maybe you also know uh, the brand store or the merchandise store, Love Magenta, lovemagenta.com. Um, they can buy shirts and also other accessoires in magenta and sometimes also with the tea on it. Uh, since years, there are merchandise stores in the US. Maybe it's also, there's also an influence, of course, I'm sure. And uh, stop for what? Stop, stop, stop. Mm -hmm. That's an interesting point because. Uh, when your T is in your mind, there are two kinds of uh, expressions, huh? the extrovert, extrovert and introvert one. Both are um, uh, important for the company. There are only a few people who will dress like this, <laughs> for example, <laughs> wearing magenta underwear and socks and uh, uh, shoes and all this stuff. Um, there are a lot of people uh, who really like and love to, to, to wear their suits and uh, they um, wear their identity, their, their um, company uh, identity card with Chris Proud. It's not necessary to show um, the, the, the magenta color. It's the gorilla thing. And uh, maybe you know this uh, small pin. Is this the same English pin? I think mm -hmm. so. Huh? Mm -hmm. um, he, he very often uh, wear this pin. On his jacket, it's very small, very smart, and. Uh, uh, Understand. And if you compare these guys in this way, this is more of the introvert. No, it's perfect. It's okay. No? It's the, the same uh, Daleinsberechtigung. I don't know. I don't know. I don't Both is fine. We need both of them. Maybe some people think, oh, it's, I should wear magenta shoes. Or wear, no, it's not necessary. Most important thing is to be proud of your company and to, to wear this proud in your heart or under your jacket or in John Ledger style show with this uh, baseball dress or whatever. And I took the picture of a, a fair clothing uh, jacket years ago. Huh? Deutsche Telekom, very small. Um, of this, this blazer, it's two or three years ago. Very small. Magenta Essence. Yes. And uh, this is my trousers. <laughs> small magenta. Uh, <laughs> two less uh, for me. Um, good. This one is a little more. Also small. And uh, ten years ago, I started to uh, to bring magenta into my jacket. Was uh, made by me. And four years and five years ago, uh, on the IFA. In, in Berlin, um, Jette Jo designed new uh, fair clothes with magenta interior. I don't know, it's insides. It's so cool that you, you, um, uh, um, your, your, 
you're covered with, with magenta. It's so cool because people, as the customers see this, and see even them asking you, what's this? So future, of course. If you're reading uh, newspapers or on the web some uh, infos about what will be going on in America, um, there are a lot of rumors uh, around. The main uh, quote is this, we won't stop. Uh, T-Mobile USA um, starts always to win the next level to be uh, number two, number three of the uh, market. Um, they over overhaul, over over accessible. They, they overtook, hmm? overtook, overtook um, Sprint, I think. No. Same pass. Same pass. Made X one we'll see. But you can hear what Tim Hutkis has to say to this question. You know, winning is always a mentality. And we have 45,000 people in the US on the ground, people with magenta heart, I love them all. They are the reason for the success. It's a great team which we have there. We have the same attitude and the same mentality here in Europe in the 12th market where we're operating. This is the magenta family. And look, we are not, you know, striving for a world leadership for magenta. We just want to be leading in the market where we're operating. There's no expansion idea, but there's a lot of opportunities in the market where we're operating on the ground. And there's still a lot of growth in the US, uh, uh, which we foresee. So we will see what will happen. Um, I mentioned that we invest billions for frequencies and all this stuff. So I'm dreaming of a uh, I'm dreaming of a of a, of a magenta future with T Mobile, yes. But we will see, we will see. And uh, the finisher slide is uh, not the last slide, but the main question what uh, can we learn from John Ledger? Can we um, summarize in four points? Listen to the customer, listen to your employees, you mentioned it in several um, clips. Uh, be brave, of course, you have to be brave to, um, yeah, to disrupt uh, the whole industry. And be authentic, that's also very important for me. Uh, um, I met him in uh, January in, in, in Bonn, and uh, yeah, it's, it's, he's real, huh? mm -hmm. he's not a fake one, as far as I know. <laughs> that's, 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 uh, that's like me. <laughs> And be proud of the team. And it is interesting that that uh, um, Tim Hurtkis mentioned the last point very often. Vagscholz, proud of the team. We are. Uh, we can win. Uh, we can reach everything. It's clear the market in America is different to the German market. It's it's it's, it's clear. Therefore, a lot of our marketing uh, uh, head of, heads head offs, uh, 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 SAPs, and they are not so happy that uh, a lot of um, German employees say, hey, you have to do more like John Ledger, why do you know who's slow cooking, uh, Tim, what about Twitter and uh, using Instagram, blah, blah, blah. It's, it's, it's not so easy to, to, to copy it. It not, makes no sense, not, not, no sense to copy that. Um, I post this uh, four points uh, in, February, in February, I think, and uh, John Ledger or his team uh, like it. So, act up. Correct. You know, it's a, it's cool. And uh, <laughs> oh, so two weeks ago, he posted this on on uh, on Instagram, and uh, there was a subtitle, some text, and as far as I know, this is his social media team. So he's not alone. If you have more than four million people on Twitter, you get tons of uh, uh, input. So he needs uh, a crew to. Um, uh, to, to answer and to forward and to like whatever, and uh, but he's a pro -bee. so same again. He's maybe he's crazy, but he's not stupid, and maybe he influenced also you in your normal business life. Maybe we'll talk to this topic or uh, later or in a few minutes, and uh, I'm sure that you will find something around your uh, business. So think about this. But one more thing before we start to talk about this. I don't know, maybe you see what I see. This is a Magenta team in 2005 in Chicago on a, 
Uh, well, this is a um, shopping mall parking slot area, and this is me. <laughs> Seven years before John Letcher started his job as the CEO of T-Mobile USA. So there's no better way to get close to the T than stick in the uh, <laughs> T while the, uh, the, the temperature is more than 30 degrees <coughs> plus outside the T. It was a really cool experience. I only I, I went there for uh, three weeks for on holiday and uh, uh, I, <laughs> I found some colleagues who take me for some, some days with them through their daily business and sales. And uh, nice. these, these are some pictures of uh, the town hall event an event in Brühl, um, I think two days before the huge, huge Tam Tam, because he was a, a keynote speaker on the Tam Tam, as a huge uh, management meeting. And uh, <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, you can see maybe, uh, I learned after 20 years, this is an old tea, I bought it in a creative shop, and this is uh, the original one. This is a handcraft uh, uh, from uh, China, I don't know, somebody who, who works with wood, no? with a machine, beep, 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 beep. And uh, yeah, that's a really nice experience. Um, sorry if I read some uh, tweets and from Twitter and Instagram, you'll find in the story file. And uh, this is also, I know this is a little like, das ist Selbstverständung, a bisschen Buddhism. Um, uh, you will see. Uh, you have to, to see this so this few seconds of this. You do with your size and scope and scale. How do you become the maverick to yourself? How how do you attack the Vodafones and the others that are much smaller than you in the same way you would if you were a fledgling small player? How do you show them no mercy and wipe them off the planet? <laughs> you know, and, 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 and how do you get possessed? with this vision and scope of who you are. And how does this, how does DT's brand become so consuming? Like this guy, this guy's a total fucking nutcase. I see him on here, but he's a, he's big. This guy bleeds magenta. I see him on Twitter all the time. I actually reported him to Twitter already at least once. <laughs> it could be a little dangerous. So I wouldn't go all this way. I was, I was totally. Uh, I was totally flashed by this interaction, and that's Sophie's point. Uh, authentic. I really do a lot, not only to to be visible to Don Letcher, but I do a lot, read a lot, and uh, that a guy from America realized that I'm a person who is a fan of him, and uh, yeah, that's crazy. What, what can we learn from John <laughs> John Bourget? <laughs> yeah. for, uh, for all the big teeth, that's one that's one point. Um, to 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 wear your inner external Werkstolz um, to to your colleagues, to your um, customers, and uh, in order to to have more fun. The fish philosophy is extremely uh, important for me, and I realize that uh, that I. Uh, do a lot of this of this survey by, by my own, own uh, without any um, trial, without any uh, and uh, I have to add one other. In 2012, I sent John Letter, uh, John Letcher a letter. Yeah? You can find this file on Yam. Uh, this file here, uh, so. and uh, this okay. You know this uh, style, this style, and a brand new handwritten letter. Blah, 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 blah. There's an interesting sentence. Um, you are the right person to bring T Mobile US back on business track. Um, das heißt, vorhersagen. <laughs> But this was, was, was a, it, it's, it's crazy that it, that it fits. Yeah? Um, I did it because I sent him a letter uh, about my uh, stay with this Magenta T in Chicago. and. Uh, Yeah, I sent him an autograph, it's the first version, and I uh, never get an answer from John Letter, but it means a lot to me to do this, 
uh, of course I do it in my leisure time, I feel like, and uh, send it to him, and I get Anna. Trouble. I get in trouble because somebody saw this picture and uh, um, announced me to tell me, or this portal asked me, tell me, uh, compliant you. thing. Mr. Dumminger is sending private postage or a, 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 a post to, to somebody in the US. So it's, good. Uh, it's a nice uh, addition to this story. But nevertheless, uh, also this uh, um, story, five years old, is a, is a real one. I really like it. And uh, this is a back end. Oh, so there's some, um, some uh, we call it back, backup. Uh, Slides, and now want to come back to these stickers and to the question. So, did you have any entries? You remember an entries um, that we can mention here? That John Lomnetter um, inspired you, for example, to I don't know what. Oh yeah. Hmm? Me, John Lecture, talking to you. Who is following him? Only so you were reading also the the, the post. And on Sunday cooking also. On Facebook. <laughs> it's no, also Instagram. Instagram. It's Instagram. also Instagram. Yeah. Cooking, yeah. cooking Sunday. Yeah, Sunday. I thought on Instagram you also see you only see a teaser and the whole story you see on on Facebook. I thought, but I don't know. Mm -hmm. But it's, it's interesting. This is a slow cooker thing. Um, it's very it's a uh, rough. Um, taking pictures, no, and, uh, clips, but people are interested in this, and it's his person, his personal um, uh, Einsatz, his personal engagement. engagement for for this, and I think that this is one piece of stone to his success and to the success of Chibubo US. May you answer to my question that? Like, what do you think? He before before he accepted to be the CEO of Timo US, uh, he probably had a good life, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. So yeah, of course he's uh, I mean, no money. I, I would be really interested in uh, like how did he? Do you know anything about his motivation? Uh, how to change his lifestyle and that much? You know, like okay. uh, tweeting every day, like yeah. like he mentioned, like one and a half hour in the morning, mm -hmm. reading tweets, and then cooking on Sunday, live streaming. I think that he's he's motivated by himself. There's nobody who, who, who tells him, "Hey, do this or that." So he's he's really he's really authentic. Um, and I think this kind of person, or a leading person of companies, they don't do it for for money. You know, he earns a lot of money, more than the whole uh, head of uh, Telco Group uh, Germany. Um, but uh, he, he, they are looking for new new challenges. But why he changed uh, his style? Style of work. His style, no, his, his style to, to magenta. I, I asked him in, uh, in this uh, call center uh, when he started to love magenta, and he told me that it took a little bit of time. Okay, but it's not artificial. That's the point. I hate when people ask me, "Hey, where did these shoes?" Can I have also some of these shoes? Because yeah, you can have it. It costs around about uh, 100 euros. I want it for, for less or for free. We are not the uh, army who um, bring you the closest to you and you wear it like a soldier. You have to be um, empowered by your own uh, passion and uh, curiosity. And uh, of course, also this t-shirt, all this stuff is, I don't need to do this. But I'd like to do this because I know that I influence you. If you're talking about at home at work and about the crazy guy, it's fine. It's a win-win situation. I have uh, it's, it's a lot of uh, fun for me. Later on in the evening event, I will um, go around with uh, this plate and will take pictures. I will take the pictures. I will bring them to the you and me, and maybe you will have fun. But the the the. the, the points besides us, that you're using the platform. It's a cool, you have, to, you have a reason to go online and start with a picture and later on it, it, it go on with uh, business uh, <laughs> materials or um, stuff. Yeah, 
I would like to try to answer this question without knowing anything about T-Mobile US. I think John just has a good team around him. You know, and it's, the system's working good. On the other hand, he's able to just do whatever he wants to, whenever he wants to, you know, however he wants to. And these two things combined, it just leads to more success. Because if you compare it to the other, I don't know any other CEO of a US telco, even the bigger companies. But this guy, nearly everybody knows him. He is a so-called, in English it's the same, paradise bird, you know. So it's unique. And uh, after his visit in, in, the, in the Germany in the last town hall, I tried to get in contact with his team in order to say, yeah, yeah I'd like to move my English abroad <laughs> and maybe uh, take some uh, lessons with your social media team. And his second um, officer, whatever, um, said, it's no problem. The problem is to find the HR solution to bring me to the US. Um, the first pictures with this Magenta T, I organized, organized by my own. I traveled there and it's fine, but when you try to organize it, it's official, it's not so easy. Five minutes left. I know. I know. So, do we have further questions? Maybe John is still online. He's always, you have to see, uh, you have to be near to him. He's always under fire. It's maybe too I mean, when you are too slow, yeah, to uh, talk to him, that I'm not, not finding the right words, and blah, blah. He's, he's, uh, you feel the energy, and it's, it's, it's but I think it's only, he also said, oh, well, I always say, listen to your customer, listen to your employees, um, and I remember a uh, situation in, uh, in Brühl, and there was also some other managers of uh, Kunden service, Gero, for example, and I thought, why spend our managers so much time in meetings? Um, and uh, not spend time with customers that are on the line. I think we have a lot of, uh, here, uh, uh, John Etcher, get rid of a lot of these things, but a lot of these things have to be done. It's clear, so it's his team again, that uh, they know he, we need him as a, a stature of liberty of uh, T-Mobile, and uh, it works. But the main problem is, of course, what will happen when he died more, for example, tomorrow? What, 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 what's up? It's really, it's really crazy. Uh, so we don't in Germany we don't like to focus on one person. Yeah, it's also um, it's, it's it's dangerous. Okay, there are some other interesting guys, but he's unique. You can't uh, uh, change uh, his position. But we will see. It's not like he's. I mean, he's he's important for the company, but the thing which he has brought to T-Mobile US is the change of culture. So um, yeah. they enable the um, customer service guys that they can directly talk to the management and the board. Mm -hmm. And in doing so, um, and in creating this culture, they also fired some guys who were against it. <laughs> and I mean, this is something you cannot do in Germany, yeah. or maybe you cannot do it in the EU, but you can do it in the States. So yeah. Yeah. Also, his whole team is enabling this culture and they developed it together. Yeah. So and it's a key point it. there. Yeah. It is, yeah, there, there, are, uh, there are a lot of things behind the curtains. Um, um, we see the bright uh, lights in Magenta in Germany, uh, but the, there are a lot of, uh, also a lot of challenges. Um, but after all, the success story uh, is uh, crazy, and uh, nearly, I think this article nearly 50% uh, of our earnings comes from, from the US. It's crazy. And what do you think about uh, like disrupting the, the U.S. market? Would you yeah. share your thoughts about selling the US? Um, yes, I beg your pardon. Maybe you have to repeat it, please. Disrupting uh, the mobile industry? Yeah, like in the United States. Yes. And then, like, what do you think about? Yeah, it's okay. The thought of <laughs> selling this branch, the, the T-Mobile branch. Yes, well, in you in the U.S. So the point is that, that, uh, that T-Mobile is in the US market, uh, is a, is a, um, not the, the hunter, is uh, uh, the, the, the chase, uh, the, the, the smaller, the, the smaller. Hmm? Hmm? And uh, this is one possibility to, to, uh, to run the market in order to uh, disrupt the uh, industry. And then we will um, sell this uh, company, of course. I don't know what will happen. Um, but uh, I think when you see the, 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 the figures, uh, 
um, it only takes a little time, and then T-Mobile will be the third um, largest uh, mobile phone company in the US, and uh, will always competitive, competitive power for, uh, challenge the other one, AT&T and Verizon. So, you have the autograph card with digital, digit on it. You will get entrance to every club in Budapest, <laughs> but you have to ask friendly for entrance, please. Yes? And uh, if you like, yeah, you can bring me such a sticker or leave it uh, here in the room. I thank you for your attention and I will take pictures later on. Hey, no, no, after one, sorry. One, one selfie uh, pictures to all my family, you know. But uh, I'm really in Budapest, not in very <laughs> office. That's sometimes not so easy. Uh, I'm do. Okie dokie. Da. Perfect. Thanks a lot. <laughs>